Hey guys, Scott Coom for Spiritual Warfare 2020, or 2021 we're going to be. Uh, wanted to talk about, uh, briefly, about, I was, I was talking with, with a counselor gal, and she gave me an analogy uh, about children. And she was saying, you know, some, you know, why do we do what we do? Okay, so she was talking about some kids, infants, when they're 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 needy and they've got to go wet themselves or they got want to eat, they start crying, and so some people, you know, they're they're right on it and they they feed them every single time they cry, and so the baby gets comforted, it gets nurtured, it gets you know what it needs, maybe a little spoiled, I don't know, but probably not for the first you know year or so. Don't worry about spoiling your children. I used to think that, you know. Uh, I was like, hey, is my kid like, is he getting spoiled by keep crying for milk? And the nurse is like, uh, no, no, you, you wait a long time before you worry about your spoiling your kids. You just, you just keep spoiling them right now. Do what they need. <laughs> so, um, but another level is, is some kids, infants, you know, they cry and cry and cry and cry and cry, and they never get anything. They, they, there's no organization. They'll get changed when they get changed. They'll get fed when they get fed. And it has nothing to do with their interactions. And they learn the behavior that I can't interact with my interactions. I can't, you know, there, there becomes some, some issues that, you know, I can't change. And I'm not saying this is the origin of personalities or anything, but, but in some ways, every one of us have, like designer genes, designer issues and problems that started out when we were brand new young. And then the third category is, you know, sometimes a kid will go cry, 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 and sometimes they get what they want, and sometimes they wouldn't. And so it creates this... Uh, dichotomy and they're like I don't know if I'm making a difference and maybe if I cry harder this time or you know and they're they're trying to manipulate their circumstances now this is probably attributing a little bit too much to the infant but it gives us an analogy because you know even God says we're all broken there's there's none of us righteous there's none of us that are holy there's none of us that are I mean I, I I've said horrible things you know, even to my wife, whom I love very much, my children, whom I love very much. Um, and, and, you know, I'm, I apologize. I get back on track, try and make it up. I'm not going to live in guilt, though. Um, but I want to create as much as I can. And, and everyone has seen the a, a parent wound. And so they're, they're blaming you know, the victim is, I uh, blame my parents for doing this or not doing that. And and uh, we got to get over that. We have to forgive our parents. We have to forgive our fathers, our mothers. We have to forgive our siblings. That stuff is, we need the healing. We need the healing because we can be much, much better than we are. So when it comes to sin, don't carry guilt about your sin. Jesus paid for it. Don't get caught up and stay in it. Okay, that's that's a wrong. That's that's not cuz cuz the whole point is you're not living life. You're not living life. You're living some form of death. And that's not what we want. That doesn't help lift up anything. It doesn't bring us pleasure. It doesn't bring us uh, life it doesn't bring us love it doesn't bring us affection it doesn't bring us to faithfulness and oh shoot I just forgot my my where I was going with that um let me see here so I was I was thinking <laughs> this is the worst you do a video and you just start getting all excited about it and everything's gone um, what was I talking about? Um, so, sitting, oh, 
the whole point is if you find that you're in sinning or you're in sin or you're having resentment because some other people are not treating you the way you feel you should be treated um that's your battle that's your battle and so the whole point is you need to fill yourself up with love you need to fill yourself up with jesus and here's here's a huge point like how do i get faithful how can i be faithful to fulfill this promise how can i be faithful to allow this promise to work into my life how do i become faithful to live a good keep from sin maybe okay stay on track so how do i do that and the whole thing comes back to you know was it faith hope and love and the greatest of these is love well, why is love so much greater than faith huh isn't i mean jesus is always talking about faith and how we need to be faithful and our lack of faith why is love so much better and here's the thing is when you love god and you feel the love from god what does that do god i know you love me i know you love me so much it's in my core and because you love me so much i know that you will fulfill your promise in my life because you love me so much because i've been touched by your life i know you will fulfill them i know it and that is your faith that is your faith because you know you are convinced of his that that all things will work together for good okay it's a beautiful thing and and some of us we were neglected kids some of us were abused kids and we have issues we have issues we all have issues we're like rolling stones with all years decades of issues and um it's not it doesn't serve us so how do we get past it we gotta love we gotta love god we gotta love god because he is faithful and true and he will raise us up i'm gonna tell you another little video soon maybe tomorrow about when god tells us what to think are you kidding me god you're gonna tell me what to think i can't think like i'm i'm like there's wrong thinking oh absolutely and so you probably some of you already know the scripture i'm using um guys i love you keep keep on charging there's so many people that need your prayers and uh you know throw a prayer my way i appreciate that so i love you keep on strong you guys are great i love you